Hello, my dear students of second preparatory stage. Welcome again, and I wish everyone is fine. أهلا بكم طلابنا الأعزاء لمرحلة الصف الثاني الإعدادي لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية. زي كل مرة وزي ما إحنا عارفين إن حلقتنا النهاردة تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Last time we did some revision on some grammar lessons and some new vocab words which we have already learned in units 8 and 9. يعني المرة اللي فاتت إحنا عملنا recap أو revision مراجعة على بعض دروس الجرامر وبعض الكلمات اللي إحنا درسناها في units 8 و 9. النهاردة إن شاء الله هنكمل ده We will finish uh, all the focus on the grammar lessons uh, uh, of uh, unit 8 and 9 and we will also focus on uh, a writing part and again some of the new vocab words which we have been exposed to in these two units. يعني هنكمل مراجعة على الكلمات الجديدة اللي احنا قابلناها معانا في units 8 and 9 وبقية ال grammar lessons وكمان ال writing which is very important. Okay? So I want you please to get ready with your copy books and your pencils to jot down anything after me. Let's start our session. Let's go. Okay, my dear students. As for our objectives, as we always do here, by the end of the session, you will be able to revise the previously explained grammar lessons and all the uh, uh, parts of also writing and uh, vocabulary, okay, vocab words. So, now we have here some of the uh, uh, vocab words which we need to revise. We have uh, so, يعني خيط, makeup, المكياج, uh, musical instrument, اللي هو الآلة الموسيقية, uh, costumes, اللي هو الزي, الأزياء اللي هي بتبقى uh, للعرض المسرحي مثلا, يعني في المسرحية أو حاجة على stage. وسينيري يعني المشهد الطبيعي اوكي مشهد طبيعة يعني for example for mountains للجبال for trees for fields green fields this is the scenery okay so here we have this sentence my dress is damaged يعني فستاني بايز او مقطوع مثلا so my mother space it so what's the suitable word can you guess but here we have to, uh, uh, if we are going to choose a verb, we have to put it in the correct tense. يعني لازم لو هحط verb, لازم أعمله uh, uh, في tense الصح uh, أو الزمن الصح. So, my dress is damaged, so my mother space it. I can't say my mother sew it. My is sew only because sew is infinitive. It needs a plural subject before it. And mother is singular. So, that's why I will... Use is sewing. Lima ultish sews with the present simple tense because present simple tense means she does this all the time. And of course, she doesn't sew all the time. She's doing this only for my dress for this situation. That's why I am talking at the or in the present continuous tense. يعني هنا بستخدم زمن المضارع المستمر, which is formed by adding am, is, or are plus ing. الفرق ما بين تاني present simple tense and present continuous tense in the present simple tense I talk about habits or facts يعني حاجات أنا متعود عليها daily بعملها أو weekly مثلا or facts يعني حقايق في الطبيعة ما بتتغيرش this is for the present simple tense المضارع البسيط المضارع المستمر اللي هو present continuous I am talking about something I am just doing it right now when I'm done with it خلص مش هكرره تاني مش لازم هكرره تاني بكرة okay that was the quick difference between the present continuous and present simple. Okay? So that's why here I added is sewing. The children all wore funny space to the family party. Ahmed was a firefighter. So here war is the past simple uh, tense of where. Where اللي هي. Let me uh, read it uh, and write it for you. It's written that way. Where. W E A R يرتدي the past simple form of it is war W O R E okay so the children all wore funny space to the family party so what were they wearing of course costumes اللي هي الأزياء المسرحية وبرضو الكلو أو العلامة اللي عرفتنا the word firefighter okay Mona can't answer the phone because she is doing her space. Okay, she's doing her what? Yes, makeup. Because makeup here is uh, to be preceded by verb to do. To do makeup, يعني بتحط makeup. Okay? وبرضو I can say wear makeup. زي wear perfume. يعني يحط perfume أو يحط makeup. فهي do a wear. 
بس لما اقول وير ميك اب مش يرتدي ميك اب معناها يحط الميك اب اوكي ذا سبيس از فانتاستيك ان ذا بلاي يو فيل لايك يو ار ان ذا ماونتينز سو ذا وات وورد وي منشند اوف كورس ان ذا بريفيوس بوكس ذا سينري سينري اللي هو مشهد الطبيعه ذا سينري Which space can you play? Which space can you play? يعني بيعزفها طبعا I'm talking about the musical instrument. Okay. Reorder the words to make questions then answer the questions about yourself. Here we have some uh, 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 words which needed to be uh, put in order. يعني عندنا كده كلمات متلخبطة We need to order uh, uh, to put them in order يعني نحطهم بالترتيب الصح. Okay. I have a question. I have some words here like so, يخيط, you and can. How can I start my question? Of course, with the verb, helping verb. Or if I have here a WH question word like what, where, why, who, I have to start with it. But here I don't have a WH question word. يعني ما عنديش حاجة من what أو who أو why أو how أو which. That's why I have to start directly with the helping verb. Okay, so where is the helping verb here? Can or so? Definitely, it's can. This is the helping verb. So I will start with it. Can, then subject, then the main verb. Can you so? Can you so? This is the question. If I'm answering it myself, I will say, no, I can't. Because when you start with the helping verb, your question, this is, uh, needs uh, um, a yes, no question. Uh, sorry, a yes, no answer. يعني لما ببتدي the question with helping verb, لازم إجابتي تبقى فيها yes or no. لان دايما ال questions اللي هي starting with helping verbs دي اسمها yes no questions okay طيب number two use computer do know you to how a here I already uh, have a, a, a capital letter for a word do which is here this means I have to start my question with it okay so can you guess do is a helping verb or main verb Of course, it should be a helping verb. لازم يبقى فعل مساعد and it needs a subject after it and then a main verb after it. So here, and my advice for you is when you have uh, some words, many words like this, and you need to put them in order, number them, يعني رقموهم عشان تبقى أسهل في الترتيب عشان not to be confused أو ما تتلغبطوش. Let me show you how. يعني هنا مثلا I have to start with this. So this is number one. Let me choose another color. Do, then after it the subject, you, do you, and then I need a main verb, do you, no. We have an expression which is called, do you know how to, okay, so how to, and after to I need an infinitive verb, use a computer. So this is how to number the words in order to make or uh, put them in order علشان ما تتلخبطوش. Okay? This is in case if you have a lot of words need to be put in order. So this is the answer. Do you know how to use a computer? وقلنا uh, how to uh, or know how to. It means can or able to. يعني to show ability. Number three, uh, the answer of course is yes, I know. طبعا أنا I said yes or no because I started with do which is the helping verb تاني لما بنبتدي ال questions بهelping verbs I need yes or no in the question uh, in the answer but if I start with wh question word يعني لو ابتديت بحاجة زي when or why or who or where uh, لو ابتديت ب wh question word I don't add yes or no answers okay number three French you are to able speak able means can بس احنا لازم طبعا it should be preceded by am is or are and here I have a question and here I have a, a capital letter of a word which means this is gonna be my first word so this is number one are needs to be followed by subject are you then the rest of the expression able are you able this is number three are you able then two are you able to this is number four Then after two, I shall add an infinitive verb. Are you able to speak French? يعني اللغة الفرنسية. Okay, so 
this is a, a, a way of how to make it easy for you to put it in order, in numbers. Are you able to speak French? And don't forget the most important thing, the question mark, when you make a question. No, I am not able to speak French. No, I am not able to speak French. Okay. Number four. Play you football or can or tennis. Okay, here. Look for the word that has the capital letter, which is, yes, can. So this is number one. I need a subject after it, which is you. Can you. Then I add a main verb. Can you play? This is number three. Can you play tennis or football? You can start with any of them, okay? For example, tennis or football. Or you can say football or tennis. Both are correct, okay? So this is the question. Can you play football or tennis? Or can you play tennis or football? Both are correct. The answer is yes, I can. Okay, so that was how to show ability. Again, I show ability by one of the three phrases. Uh, how to know, uh, uh, know how to do something, know how to do something, or uh, verb to be plus able to, am, is, are plus able to, or I use the verb can plus infinitive verb. These are the three ways of how to show ability. يعني إزاي نحن نظهر المقدرة على أداء أو عدم أداء حاجة. Okay? Here we have some uh, words which we already uh, have been exposed to in the previous units and now we are going to match them with their suitable definitions. So here I have <coughs> number one, artist. Artist يعني فنان. ممكن بيرسم, ممكن بيوم, بيمثل, يعني بيعمل أي حاجة ليه علاقة بالفن. Cartoon. Cartoon يعني الشخصيات الكارتونية. Free. Without money, يعني من غير فلوس. Portrait, portrait is the drawing of a real person. يعني ال ال الرسمة لبني آدم حقيقي لوش حقيقي. Pottery, pottery اللي هو الصناعة الأواني الفخارية that is made of clay اللي معمولة من الطمي. And the last word is sculpture. يعني تمثال sculpture. Maybe for an animal, maybe for a real person. So let's have now a quick look at the definitions. Things that are made from clay, such as cups and plates. O of course, uh, uh, this is one of those words. But let's try uh, by this column first. Artist. Where is the artist here? Artist is a person. Okay, here. It's B. Who paints or draws for a job. يعني بيمثل أو بيغني أو بيرسم. This is the artist. For number two, cartoon. Cartoon. Here, yes, it's letter D. A funny drawing. يعني بيبقى رسمة funny أو sarcastic كده فيها سخرية شوية. Usually showing people or animals. بتبقى حاجة كده للهزار. Free means without paying money. من غير ما ندفع فلوس. Portrait, it means, yes, C. A painting, يعني رسمة or photograph أو صورة for a person's face. لبني آدم لوش بني آدم حقيقي. Pottery, طبعا it's a things that are made from clay. الحاجات المصنوعة من الطمي أو ال 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 الطين أو سلسال ممكن نطلق عليه سلسال برضو. Such as cups or plates. And for the last one, sculpture, it's e art made from stone or wood. الفن النحت ده, okay. Uh, uh, sculpture بنطلق uh, عليه على التماثيل okay? uh, او على ال الفن النحت عموما it's an art made from stone ودايما بيبقى التماثيل مصنوعة من الاخشاب او من ال ال الاحجار that looks like people, animals or other things okay? so those were some of the words okay. we have another list of vocab words action, escape Review, theme park, star, to be blind. Okay, so here, now. We have here some definitions. Okay, action here, let me match it. With C, the things that happen in a film. 
we have been exposed to uh, some reviews for movies, for places, for something like that. يعني إحنا اتعلمنا في unit nine how to write a review. يعني رأي عن حاجة معينة أنا زرتها أو something I bought before حاجة اشتريتها for example أو movie I watched before أو even a book or a novel I read before. طيب الأكشن هنا اللي هو الحدث أو الأحداث اللي بتحصل جوا الفيلم أو في ال في المسلسل اللي بتفرج عليه for example. Escape. Escape means D. To leave a place that you should stay in. يهرب. يعني يسيب مكان هو المفروض إن هو كان قاعد فيه بس بيهرب منه. Escape. Number three. Review. I have just said it. Review means like وجهة نظري إيه عن الموضوع. Okay. رأيي عن الموضوع أو عن المكان اللي أنا زورته أو عن الحاجة اللي أنا اشتريتها أو الفيديو أو ال الموفي اللي انا اتفرجت عليه. اوكي، ذيس از ريفيو. ثيم بارك. اي، ا لارج بارك ويز ماشينز تو رايد اون او ريستورنتس، يعني بتبقى بارك وممكن تبقى ملاهي. ماشينز تو رايد اون يعني ال- الالعاب اللي, بن- اللي بنلعب بيها في الملاهي او طبعا بيبقى فيها ريستورنتس او كافيز او سمثينج لايك ذات. ستار ات مينز لتر اف The one who acts in a movie or a play. البني آدم اللي بيمثل الممثل اللي في المسرحية أو الفيلم. وبرضو بنطلق عليه actor. يعني it's an actor or star. Okay? To be blind. To be blind means that you can't see. You can't see. Okay? Underlined the correct words. هنا we have a paragraph that talks about النور والأمل chamber Orchestra. اللي احنا قلنا عليهم قبل كده اتكلمنا عليهم قبل كده uh, uh, this is a place uh, in which uh, you can find some blind uh, women and girls and they play charming music using their uh, musical instruments skillfully يعني دول مجموعة من ال- السيدات والبنات المكفوفين بس بيعرفوا يعزفوا uh, بالآلات الموسيقية very skillfully and perfectly يعني بيعزفوا بشكل كويس جدا okay so the al-nur wal-amal Chamber Orchestra is at a school for blind or deaf girls in Cairo. Taban, it's for blind girls. Blind girls, yani the ones who can't see. Iman Badr is one of the of the artists, well, musicians. Artists, the هم الفنانين, musicians, the عازفين الموسيقيين. Of course, being one of this orchestra, she is a musician. Musician, yani عازفة موسيقية. She is able to, but so able to, able to, يعني she can, يعني she is able to play the violin. We know violin is one of the musical instruments. She is able to play the violin very well. She started going or playing it when she was six. Of course, she started playing to play the musical instruments. يعني يعزف يعزف الآلة الموسيقية. Iman became blind. Iman أصبحت من المكفوفين. When she was two years old, يعني لما كان عندها سنتين, she started not to see anything. She likes playing in the museum or orchestra because she loves the music and being with her friends. Of course, she likes playing in what? Of course, in the orchestra. And we said orchestra means a group of muse- uh, uh, musicians that are able to uh, uh, play a lot of musical instruments like cello, like violin, like flute, like piano, something like that. يعني الأوركسترا اللي هي فرقة الأوركسترا اللي بيعزفوا فيها جميع الآلات الموسيقية. Okay. Recently, مؤخرا أو حديثا, she visited Oman and France, دولة عمان ودولة فرنسا with the, uh, with the orchestra. Okay. مع الفرقة الموسيقية كلها. So that was uh, a brief or a quick uh, 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 review on this uh, perfect uh, orchestra. Here you are asked to write a review of a museum that you know. انت رحت قبل كده متحف وانت you want to give a review about. يعني عايز تدي رأيك عنه كان ايه. But first of all you have to describe the museum. You have to give your opinion of the museum. And you have to recommend whether to go visit it or not. Okay. So all of these details will be included in my sample. Taban, this is a sample, and you can change it, okay? Or you can change any parts of it. Uh, it's uh, uh, up to you. So here, 
again whenever you, uh, you write a paragraph you have to uh, write a title for it يعني لازم نكتب كده in the middle of the line في نص السطر كده عنوان للباراجراف اللي انا بكتبه انا بألف العنوان ده according to the topic I am writing about يعني بألف العنوان حسب الموضوع اللي بتكلم عليه here A review of the textile museum in Cairo. The textile museum ده متحف للأقمشة. Okay? أقمشة بقى من the ancient times or the modern times. Okay? So, this is a review about it. Okay. Last month, I visited the textile museum in Cairo. This is my topic sentence. Okay? قلنا لازم بنبتدي دايما ب topic sentence. Maybe an ordinary sentence. Maybe a question. يعني لازم يكون في topic sentence which is the eye-catchy sentence that grabs the reader's attention. إيه فايدة ال topic sentence? إن هي بتجذب انتباه ال reader, ال قارئ. عشان to make him more excited to finish the paragraph. The museum has lots of clothes. From different times in history. أنا بتكلم على التكستيل ميوزيم ده وبقول إن هو has lots of clothes from different times of history. يعني ااا بي بيجمع بين يعني different times اللي هي ages مختلفة عصور مختلفة وأزياء طبعا مختلفة. إحنا عارفين إن كل age ولي الفاشن أو الستايل بتاعه في اللبس. I thought the clothes from ancient Egypt, ancient means old, old Egypt were fantastic. From my point of view, again, لازم نحط introductory phrases كده أو عبارات أو phrases لازم أبتدي بيها sentences عشان to grab the reader's attention. Like from my point of view, if I want to give any point of view, لو عايز أقول وجهة نظر بقول I think, I believe, from my point of view, in my opinion, okay? From my point of view, the statues, اللي هي التماثيل, showing people wearing the clothes really teach you about life in the past. My favorite part was the Islamic area where you can see different kinds of calligraphy. فاكرين كلمة calligraphy يعني ايه؟ دي الكتابة بالخطوط بشكل كده كأننا بنرسم بس بيكون كتابة بخط بس مش رسمة. بيكون رسومات بالخطوط بالكلام. Okay? The style of clothes there was really interesting. يعني ال style of clothes في الميوزيوم ده كان فعلا eye catchy and very attractive. If you want to take photos, it's a good idea to take a good camera with you. If you want to take photos, it's a good idea to take a, ca a good camera with you. يعني أنا هنا بقول في الآخر خالص إن لو أنت عايز to take photos يعني تلتقط صور, it's very good idea to take a, a good camera with you. يعني I used here good idea to, it's a good idea to, دي لما أحب أقول recommendation. Recommendation يعني أوصي بحاجة. Okay? ده كان ال sample اللي أنا عملته for the review. Let me remind you again that any paragraph or any review you are going to write should be not less than 90 words. لازم منقلش عن 90 كلمة في الparagraph أو في الreview اللي بنكتبه. Can can I exceed it? يعني ممكن أزود أو ممكن أزود بس مش كتير قوي. Okay? بس can I write less than 90? لا ما ينفعش يبقى أقل من 90 أو ما ينفعش يبقى أقل من كده. Uh, or else you will lose marks. Okay? Okay. عملنا إيه النهاردة? Uh, we uh, had a recap on the grammar lessons. وبرضو الكلام ده كان في the previous uh, uh, sessions. إن إحنا عملنا كده recap on uh, how to use uh, some, or any, a lot of, uh, a few, a little, too much, too many, enough. ده concerning the grammar part. والنهاردة mainly برضو رجعنا على how to show ability using can, using uh, uh, know how to, using uh, be, اللي هو verb to be يعني able to. كل ده رجعنا في the grammar part. رجعنا برضو review in writing area. ورجعنا a lot of vocab words. Thank you again, guys, for watching the uh, episode of today, and thank you for watching the previous ones. Again, next time I will, meet, uh, I will be meeting with you with more interesting slides and topics. So stay tuned and stay safe, please. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>